What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916. And tune into another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for all your support. You know I'm all about that positivity and that motivation. I also have that Patreon where I keep you laced up on a more non-sensor tip. You know, over there I can tell the freaky tales and be raw with it. But, uh, you know, today I want to address where's the justice? And this is one of the biggest reasons I say that we shouldn't have the defunding of the police, but we need to work on better training the police officers that are there so that certain situations can be handled in a more professional manner. But um, I can see how so many situations, man, you're dealing with some people that are just very, very dark and evil. And this particular story, uh, the condolences goes out to Carla E. Dominguez's family. Carla E. Dominguez was a woman in Alexandria, Virginia. And she, had been sexually assaulted by another guy named Ibrahim E. Bauchi. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this was last fall. She had accused him of sexually assaulting her, and this Ibrahim turned himself in October 21st last year. Now, because of just all the stuff going on in the county jail, you know, pre-trial and uh, the coronavirus, um, he was granted bail. Uh, he was granted bail April 9th and uh, was supposed to be confined to the house, but he didn't have an electronic monitor. So he still was able to kind of do what the hell he wanted to do to some degree, and he did it. Um, in May, they said they, the local uh, law enforcement found them at a, uh, at a drive-in um, food, food place. And he had rammed a couple police cruisers, had multiple assault counts, drunken driving, traffic violations. But he was released the next day because the Alexandria prosecutors were not notified. Well, on July 29th, Carla E. Dominguez was found dead uh, by a gunshot wound, shot fatally dead. Two days later, a warrant was issued for Ibrahim E. Bauchi. Well, he was nowhere to be found. He, for several days, they couldn't find him. And so they brought in the, the uh, had a press conference, brought in the Marshall's Fugitive uh, Task Force team, and they tracked him down. And when they tried to arrest him, he inflicted a self gunshot wound and later died at the hospital. Now, I know there are some people who have loved ones in jail, in prison, that aren't rapists, that aren't bad people, who have maybe learned a life lesson, that have gotten out and not committed these type of things. But then you have people who are in jail, who are a danger to society, who have been let out. and. We need to protect our loved ones. And so when you talk about people who are trained to evaluate these people and, you know, monitor their movement. And one of the things that slipped through the cracks in the, on this story, they said that because of just short staff, they weren't able to really do an evaluation on this person before they 
they granted him him bail. They kind of like just really pushed it through, and he was able to get out. Man, you know the last thing you want to have to deal with is facing somebody who had previously assaulted you, and then have to deal with this person. Now they're just seeking vengeance, and. All, like I said, the people screaming defund the police, they're not, they're not running around without security. They're not, they have no, you know, if you don't have one police force, as far as people who have some kind of training, you're going to have another police force come in. And these people, you don't know who they've been trained by or what they, what they intend to enforce. So... <laughs> You guys got to really open your eyes, man, and, and, and start thinking about some other uh, solutions. And one of the biggest is defund the politicians. Defund your local, your, your local politicians who have developed these, uh, these policies where they're the ones kind of directing the narratives. They're the ones getting all the benefits, the the, the city funding, and, and 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 all the 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 different contracts and hustle. They're the ones benefiting. It ain't it ain't the people on the streets working, um, busting their ass. It's them. They're the ones who are pulling the strings to fund their ass. Let's see how they like it. And then start you know working on getting people from the community who really care. To get involved and see if you can now implement some positive change so that you can you, you can see things happening for the better in your community or your neighborhood but you know amidst all the the protests and the the looting you don't hear nothing about anything like this you know this is a story I I, I, uh, I found in the Washington Post and Somebody else had posted on social media, but where's the outcry? There is none. Because it's not a political agenda. And there's, I can guarantee you multiple stories like this of people who have, you know, somehow um, maybe dealt with similar situations. It just amazes me, man what people get behind and then they don't really even know what they're behind. They just jump in and let the current take them wherever it takes them. I, I know that there are a lot of people in powerful positions that exploit those positions and have violated their oath and, and, and maybe in, in use force and situations but uh you know god forbid you know you don't have any of those people who do hold up to their oath protecting you from pieces of shit like this these little these this, you know uh, 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 you know this guy is rapist this guy who has an obsession you know who who doesn't want to let something go who your mom, your sister gonna call your, you know, you, you, you can't be a gangster in the street. We can't have Charlie Bronson running around in every neighborhood. We gotta have some justice. We gotta have, you know, people who believe in in, in balancing just the, the good and bad. At the end of the day, I'm American, man. You know, I'm a patriot, bro, and I'm not gonna back any socialist movement no fascist movement i'm not winning any of that bullshit i'm all for establishing uh literacy in the communities father figures in the households righteous uh community leaders politicians who are for the people if you're not for the people you'll get the hell out of office Plain and simple. But I, I ain't with this the dumb shit, man. I'm not gonna fall into something and, and get all riled up and uh, 
you know, I, 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 I accept my, my mistakes and I, I, you know, I try to make sense of the choices I made and why I made them. And so I share you, I share a lot of my opinions in these videos, man. But uh, it's sad when you hear about something like this and, uh, you know, and there's, a, there's other places where things are even, you know, even worse off. So just a wake up call, man, before you guys jump on any bandwagon or listen to, you know, somebody like AOC talking about defund the police and this and that all the way to fund. who's gonna come in the police who are you gonna hire do you want those people banging on your door I don't think so big hurt 916